The work of Congress, in particular the House of Representatives, is to advance the well-being, security, and economic growth of the American people. And let me define for you who the American people are. For all of us as members of Congress, that looks very different. For me, in my district, it means the young entrepreneur who's eager and excited about starting a new business, a startup company. It's the middle-aged couple who have government jobs, who have worked diligently, scrimped and saved to buy a home, and are now looking for financing and support to send their children to college. It's the veteran who has served this country and now has to navigate through the bureaucracy of federal government to get those rights and privileges that having served this country, he or she deserves. It's the senior citizen, the retiree, who is always watching their budget to make sure that they have enough to meet all of their bills and somehow get by. Those are the people, those are the families that I fight for. And I know that on my side of the aisle, those workers, parents, seniors, young people are who we as Democrats are fighting for. And while we may come from different families, with different standings, beliefs, and statuses, that's who we all should be working for in this chamber. Presently, however, the House Republican scheme, economic scheme, will only hurt working Americans' families whom we say we are here to support. As Congress, as the House of Representatives of the People, we must, in partnership with a president, continue to enact legislation to protect the financial security of American working families. That's why I am directly calling on my colleagues, the conference, the Republican conference members, to begin the work of legislating for the American people. The majority of Americans, not the performative politics required by an extreme social media fringe. Legislation to help work out the best possibilities to solve the growing challenges that our family, the American people, face every day. The current Republican-led plan to cut taxes in favor of the wealthy does not help lower and middle-income families. Instead, it increases our national deficit and makes inflation worse. The dismantling of Social Security will be devastating to retirees who have paid into that system and believe that it is something that they are going to have to live out their best days yet. Likewise, allowing prescription drug prices and health insurance premiums to rise while simultaneously allowing for an increasing energy bills and student loan payments only make it harder for families to financially stay afloat and take care of their health. In the last Congress, the 117th Congress, President Biden and House Democrats forged extraordinary progress working in a bipartisan manner in the other chamber for American working families with many consequential new laws. The American Rescue Plan, which kick-started the fastest, strongest jobs recovery in modern times, creating more than 10 million jobs in just two years. The Infrastructure Law, which put Americans back to work while simultaneously rebuilding our roads, bridges, ports, and water systems. The Safer Communities Act, which deploys stronger tools to help guns out of dangerous hands. The PACT Act, which ensures that veterans who are exposed to toxic chemicals while protecting our nation can access the healthcare services they need. The CHIPS and Science Act, which will power American preeminence in science, innovation, manufacturing, and strengthen our national security and bring jobs back to America for decades to come and the Inflation Reduction Act, which slashed prescription drug costs, lowering health care premiums, delivering the most consequential climate action in history, and reducing the federal deficit. All of this progress can continue if we continue to work to legislate, not to perform 
for cameras, social media, but to work for the American people. It is incumbent on us all, Democrats, Republicans, all of us, to work together to protect the health and security and freedom of families, the American families. I yield back.